Hello, and welcome to iClone Certified Training. I am your host, ICT4. This tutorial focuses on image layer editing, video image layer creation. Now that you've become familiar with basic image layer editing techniques, you can feel free to move on to more advanced techniques in this tutorial, such as video image layer creation and image layer animation. I already have a project set up continuing on with the weather report project from part one of this tutorial. As you can see, I have one image layer that is fading in and then scaling down and changing its position, and then a full background image layer that is fading in from solid black. I now want to place an additional image layer in my scene. I'm going to go back to the beginning of my project, select the stage tab, and then select the image layer button. Double click the template for a new image layer from the content manager. Notice the diffuse and the opacity channels will have images placed on them by default. I want to create this image layer as one that will have an animated intro into my scene and also act as a foreground image so that I may add a video image in later to act as an animated background image layer. To edit the diffuse channel I'm going to select the diffuse channel under the setting portion of the modify panel and then click the open icon and navigate to the image I want to use. Select Open to apply that to the Diffuse Map and notice that it has an opaque value right now. That is because the default opacity channel needs to be deleted. I'm going to select the opacity channel and then select the trash can or delete icon. Now as you can see, my image layer is much more clear and able to be seen by the audience. However, it's not properly sized. To change this, I can simply scroll over the edge until I see the double arrow icons click and drag without holding shift, therefore I'm not maintaining my constraint proportions, allowing me to size and stretch the image layer to the shape that I need it. Once I have that, I can drag that to the top by using the move arrows as I hover over the center of the image layer, and then I can drag it into place where I want it to begin, which is off camera. So I'm going to simply click and drag that to the left. Now I can move forward in time in my project and choose where I would like that particular image layer to animate and begin to enter the scene. At this point, right around the scale of my top image layer, I want to grab this and bring it over into the scene once again. This will create the transition or animated intro for this particular image layer. Notice I also have this at the top of my stack in the scene manager on the left. Now, if I open the timeline by clicking F3, which is docked at the bottom of my user interface, I can access image layer 3 and its transform track. I want to copy and paste the first transform keyframe to keep it in place until the other scale begins to take place for the top image layer in my scene. If I close the timeline now, go back to the beginning of my scene and click play, you'll see that it will not enter the scene until the weather report image layer begins to scale down. Now I'm ready to create a video image layer to exist in the middle of my animated image layers. To do this I need to again add a new image layer template into the scene. Do this by double clicking the image layer template from the content manager. Now I'm going to select my diffuse map and instead of adding an image to this particular diffuse map I'm going to actually add a video file I have rendered from iClone. But any video file can be added to a diffuse map channel. Click the open icon once again and then navigate to the video that you wish to place on your new video image layer. Now as you can see once a video has been added to our diffuse map it will be indicated by a small film strip icon added into the diffuse map thumbnail. You will not be able to properly view the video 
on the diffuse channel until you first delete the default opacity image layer. Select the opacity channel and then click the trash can icon or the delete button. This will allow you to now properly view the video you have added to the diffuse channel map. Click play to view. All right, in today's forecast, it looks like it's going to be sunny down in Dallas, but now I want to get rid of the background for my video exposing the other image layers in the scene. To do that, I can simply return to the beginning of my project and then with the opacity channel map selected, I'm now going to navigate to a video I have created using only black and white images to act as the opacity video channel for this particular video image layer. Open that to apply this to the opacity channel map and notice the film strip thumbnail will also be added indicating a video has been applied to the opacity channel map. Click play now to expose the video right. without the background. Now if I want to properly arrange my new image layer in the stack that already exists in the project I simply need to select the move backward button in the modify panel until it is properly placed within the stack behind my lower third and my upper animated transition image layers. Return to the beginning of your scene and click play to view the entire project together. All right, in today's forecast, it looks like it's going to be sunny down in Dallas, but you could see some rain over in New Orleans and a lot of rain down in the southeast region around Miami and Fort Lauderdale area. And then uh, you can get up to Louisville, it's looking uh, partly cloudy, and then over into the uh, eastern seaboard, you're going to have some clouds and some chances of thunderstorms. Wind at Chicago, as always, and Kansas City is looking a little bit overcast today, partly cloudy in Denver, and then out in uh, Frisco and L.A., you should see some windy conditions, however, mostly sunny. As you can see, when image layers are properly added together, you can use the scale and proportion tools to move and navigate the images around the project and then create background and foreground displays by properly placing video image layers into the scene. To save your new video image layer, select that particular image layer in the scene manager and then select the custom tab and click the add button. This will allow you to name your new video image layer. Select enter to apply the name to the new video image layer file and now this can be added to any project you choose inside of iClan. For more tips and tutorials be sure to visit www.realillusion.com